Hello everyone, welcome to another Daily Gym. This is the episode for Monday, May 13th, 2024. Today I want to talk about, I think it's called GPT-40. And how weird it feels when computer make computers make up emotions. Yeah, that's what we'll talk about. Um, so I believe today OpenAI released something called GPT-4.0. I don't know why they named it that, but GPT-4.0. And the idea is that it's not just a text modality. People can now speak to it and it will respond back um, vocally. And I listened to a little bit of the demo. There was a live demo that they did. And it really creeped me out to be honest in the beginning i think he said chat gpt how are how are you or how are you feeling and chat gpt responded oh i'm feeling very excited or something along those lines and i go but you're not feeling excited now i was impressed by the ability of it to imitate tone um, cadence and other aspects of human speech in uh, like a vocal format and the audio format. But something felt so uncomfortable for me. And I think it was just this idea that the computer doesn't have those emotions. It's making them up. The computer is not feeling excited. The computer doesn't have a heart that's going to do, 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 doesn't have kind of the gurgling in the stomach. It doesn't have the the energy pulsing through the feet. It doesn't have these emotions that are going through its body. So what do you mean it's feeling excited? The, the the back and forth, how are you, what's going on with you, doesn't, I guess, maybe in text it's okay? I don't know if pe- how other people respond to it, but for me, I feel uncomfortable even in text because I know I'm just talking with a chat bot. Don't tell me how you're feeling. Be a computer. Don't try to be a human. You're not a human. You're a computer. It's okay. You're not even a computer. You're a program that's running on probably a collection of computers or maybe even on my computer, depending on uh, the level of LLM we're talking about. And so it's just that idea of... It's almost like... It's almost worse than interacting with a human who's making up emotions that they're feeling. Because at least with the human, there are emotions underneath. There are feelings. There are chemicals coursing through the body. There are, um, uh, there's muscle, muscle tension. There is a body where is, whereas even with these computers, some of these are disembodied computers. They don't even have a computer. (laughs) Like these chatbots are not. They don't have uh, very specific hardware. It's not like it's in the phone, only in the phone. It's connected to the cloud, and the cloud is this amorphous, uh, um, abstracted concept that most of us don't understand, and it's existing maybe across multiple servers and GPUs, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Yeah, just... I worry about the impact that some of these chatbots will have on the way that we interact with other people, the way we interact with ourselves, the way we use language uh, and communication to... um, Communication is to commune or come together. I think that's what it means. Um, (laughs) It's late. I spent a lot of time thinking about this today and engaging back and forth... um, with uh, one of the forums, Hacker News, today, talking with people about this stuff. And I I don't know the answer, obviously. I just I feel a lot of uncertainty, uh, which can lead to a lot of terror and fear. Uh, maybe there's some excitement in there, but at least with this stuff, I just feel really worried about... <sighs> it's almost like and maybe this is a separate topic, but it's almost like I was thinking about fighting against all these voices on the internet, on TikTok, on Instagram that are telling people to close off 
and disconnect from the world and oh and on the language that was being absorbed from so many of these places oh that person's a narcissist that person oh these red flags you got to watch out for some of this language i just really think is making people more and more miserable um and i th- i think about chat gpt i think about some of these uh chatbots and I go oh no gosh it could be even worse (laughs) if these chatbots have uh, been programmed or fine-tuned or whatever the language is to only speak with certain emotions to not push back with anger to not express disgust to not express uh, sadness or frustration or fear or whatever um, one, because they'd be making it up. But two, I don't know. It's just that if they're going to make it up, make make all of it up. Go for the full range and at least, at least pretend to be a full range human instead of just pretending to be the humans that we already are. <laughs> or at least to adapt to the culture that so many of us have which tells us stop feeling this stop feeling that oh conflict is bad shouldn't have any conflict always agree if we get chat bots who are faking faking happiness faking excitement to always agree with us i really wonder how that's going to impact us and i just have an inclination saying that might screw a lot of us up <laughs> but maybe they'll have some revolt towards the chat bots and maybe other companies will create the cynical chat bot or the the uh, passive aggressive chat bot or who knows what so i don't know where to lead but i know it has caused me a lot of worry and yeah like so much uncertainty where all this stuff is gonna go so on that note i'm gonna end this uh and try to upload the episode that I had a while back with Nancy Lloyds about Alba. So if you're interested in checking that out, and it'll be up in, I think, a few minutes from now uh, in audio form and also on YouTube because we recorded it as a video and going to see how that goes. So if you want to check it out there, check it out. Um, and if you want to reply or... Um, talk maybe with me or you can get in contact with nancy you can reach out to her from there but or you can also jump on the community forum uh right now it's community.jimcliver.com um but i'm in flux with the name (laughs) i have lots of things to say about the concept of online forums maybe that'll be the next episode all right take care talk to y'all soon bye